Hi there. It's Sunday, the 2nd of January, 2022. And uh, today we're going to have a start a series called Let's Clear the Air. And this one is about the Whirlpool Whisper 510. And what it is is a nice house filter that sucks in a lot of air. Whisper 510. So we're going to go ahead and uh, clean the air filter. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And when it's when they're when it's been a while since you've cleaned it, it's got those little red lights that flash. So the goal is to clear change the filters. And uh, first we're gonna unplug it. Alright. So, over here in the top left, there's a little plastic thing that you push in, and you do it at both sides at the same time. So there's one over here too. So you push in on that, there you go. push that back but you'll see that the uh, this is a carbon filter and it was very dirty really filthy so the, the motor sucks the air really well and it's very important that you have a good sized carbon filter in there over here for now. So let's go ahead and replace the, uh, the HEPA filter. And we have a new, these cost about 35 bucks on um, eBay. Or Amazon. And there's not really a whole lot of ways that it could go. So we're just going to snug that in nice and tight. You had a, like a gasket on it. And it says this face, this points in. But I just wanted to show you that with that gasket there, it really couldn't go any other way. So we'll push that in nice and tight. Now we'll see what we can do to uh, get the gasket on, or the uh, carbon filter. Now, there's a lot of choices in carbon filters, but some of them just really suck. So it's almost as if our friends in China took a clear one and then just spray painted it with black paint. See? That is really something to be avoided. It might still trap filter, but it's supposed to be a carbon filter, not a clear filter with spray paint on it. So I've sent away from different companies. Each one has its own quality to it. So now when I put this one up to the air, you can see that's a lot better. Not ideal, but better. And let's take a peek in the bag here. 
these might have been the ones that came. Yeah, these are. That's pretty terrible. To, see what I'm saying? There's just way too much clear area. So I'll go with the middle ones. But that's the trick right now, is to make sure that you get some that are uh, good quality. You might even have to buy the Whirlpool ones. But for now, that's the best we're going to do. And they all seem to fit the holes pretty well. So let's go ahead and put it in like this. So there's these little perforations and you just line them up with the perforations there. Try to do the corner ones first just to know that you're oriented right. Some, but you can imagine some guy with a big old roll of this stuff and uh, using a die cut. All right. Try to get them all down. Have them fit snug if you can. All right. So now there's a bit of a trick to this part of it. So you basically want to take this and as good as you can without having it loose its connection. Let's get these wedged back on there. There we go. And so the next step is to turn it on and get rid of those flashing lights. All right. So when you turn it on, you hold in the presets. There we go. See, they switched to green. So you got some different modes on this baby. You got high speed mode. Turbo mode. All things considered, and then low mode. And there might even be a sleep mode for when you want to go to bed and have it knock off but I'm pretty happy with that so now we've got all that cleared up nice and green and I can just so that's how you change the filter and how you get this one going and it can be used for a flow device and if you had like a if you're growing mushrooms or something with mycelium but that's it for the whisper five whirlpool whisper 510